Hello, the T shirt. Hi, 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 first. Really I'm nice. first from Thailand. Nice to meet you first. Yes. <laughs> Could you please introduce yourself? So, my name is Charles. I am an industrial designer and I'm from the Philippines. Ah, why we are here now? So, we're here at my favorite spot in Brown. Which is the Brown Design Workshop? BDW, right? BDW, that's right, that's right. The land that um gather all the idea. From definitely, here. definitely, feels home for me. Feels home for me. And here is the newest building in Brown, right? That's what I heard. That's what they say that this is the newest building. It's under the engineering building of Brown University. Hmm. Excited to be here with you. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Making stuff. How about the? What silly activity that you ever join? In what, terms what, of like, what, yes. what do I do? Um, yes. So for YSEALY, it's about social entrepreneurship and economic development. So I'm part of these, uh, the fall cohort with FIRST, obviously. And what I'm currently doing in terms of the social enterprise is that we're currently working on reinventing waste plastic bags mm -hmm. into plastic sheets. And these plastic sheets are turned into products that ends up as the livelihood of the women community in Bahal, Philippines, where I live and where the Fab Lab also um, was the first the fa first Fab Lab was there, so this is why I like it here. Yes, the land of machine and machines ideas. Machines and ideas and making stuff. And you know, um, Charles used only one fox and one spoon. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yes. So, um, well, since I'm doing a lot of the recycling stuff, I myself has been trying to um, lessen the waste that I've been um, producing, so I, when we went here yes. with the Delta Airline, I brought my own. I mean, they have like there's uh, utensils. It's really, really strong. Mm -hmm. So I, I said like, no, they're just gonna throw this. So then I bought it myself so that I can use it here, and it's been very useful because they don't have spoons. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., not a lot. Yes. So if you're gonna eat rice, you can have your own spoon now. If an, any audience would like to join the YCL and come here in, in United States, mm -hmm. don't pe don't forget to prepare. Yes, right? bring your own utensils, because especially spoon, because they don't have they don't have a lot of spoon here. Yes. Only if they serve soup, but that's it. Mm hmm And I saw that you have visit so many pairs in Providence. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Um, I always, so for people who's going to join Wisely, always plan your free time wisely because there's a lot of things to explore around Providence, even if you're going to be here. So I've been planning every uh, free weekends and free time. He's the great planner in Wisely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, everywhere in Providence and besides too. Yes, yes. I've been like trying to say, tell everybody about the offline maps, um, which app to use. The rip to pu uh, bass pus it passes mm -hmm. um, everything. So what of what my favorite part of exploring Providence is RISD, which is really close mm. with Brown and so RISD and Brown. North is, Island School of Design. Yes, so mm -hmm. RISD is Rhode Island School of Design. I'm an industrial designer, that's why I really like uh, RISD as well, and I like the relationship with Brown and RISD together. So. Brown students can use RISD facilities, RISD students can use Brown facilities. And just last night I went to their library. It was uh -huh. the best. I know that. Really? I, I never been there. Oh, you should go there. So, okay. Um, it's, I think that's my favorite library at the moment. Sorry, Brown, but that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you try the uh, orchestra, right? Orchestra yes. event in so, museum, right? In, if you guys are interested in museums and art, um, so I know so since Brown and RISD is very near, RISD Museum is really nice. Um, there's a wide array of uh, artifacts from different um, art styles. And also they have student um, galleries as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few Thursdays ago, they have the third Thursday event, which is they do it every third th Thursday of the month. Mm -hmm. And there was an or or orchestral activity. It was amazing. Yes, was just I saw your story and have a orchestra music. Yep. Follow my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will provide you the Instagram of Charles below yeah, this video. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, and how about another activity that you enjoy? Could you please tell us the story? So, um, there's a Filipino community here and uh -huh. the Asian community here at Brown. So Brown is a really, really open 
university so they have this open um, curriculum where you start when you start here you have to like figure out yourself on mm-hmm. what you really like until in third year you get you get to get your major so with that uh, people has come in and been really nice so we met a lot of these uh, some of the Filipino um, students here so I've joined college parties so wow which is I don't know it's 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 a different thing and there's prom as well um, well we had our own parties too yes <laughs> I saw party. from the number that the Philippine is the most population of ASEAN in UAT state right? that's another thing that I also just learned here that we are the most yeah, there's a lot of us here a lot of Filipinos here so that's interesting that means Philippine community is really strong in the Brown uni- University and also United States right? well five is also strong because I've seen them doing a lot of stuff with the we try um, the community this Friday I oh, see <laughs> so if anybody from Thailand this is also really I mean anybody from ASEAN is very yes. open here they have a um, I forgot the name of the Indonesia no no there's community the, the, the mixer the Southeast Asian mixer uh-huh. from, there's this house that hosts everything oh from different, the house uh, races in the brow, brow street right yep so there's also that open house for anybody who wants to just join in and you know collaborate with mm-hmm. every other people opposite to the IT building yes mm-hmm. I, for, I, I also forgot the name I forgot the name sorry <laughs> but I will provide we'll information provide yep. okay uh, if the audience would like to join the YCLE, how mm-hmm. can how can they join this event, this project, so this um, program? <laughs> you have to follow the. I'm not sure what exactly is the link, but it's mm-hmm. also provided underneath. So they, and even your uh, local mm. um, embassies in your area, check on their Facebook pages, and yes. they always um, posted it there. So there's two things. There's the professional and ac- academic. What mm. we're doing is academic. Yes. So you're below 25. Eh? Yeah, that's 18 to 25 for academic, and 25 to 35 for professional fellowship. Personally, I like the academic because it's like you're engaging a lot of people. You're not alone and working. So should I say that? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Just tell the truth. <laughs> But guys. Please get into it, and you might be here at Brown. I mean, yes. you know, Ivy League. Yes, one of the wrong history in the world. Yes. University in the yes. world. Yes, right? yes, one of the really good, great um, universities here. Okay, you talk about academic. You don't forget about professional. So professional is about you're gonna be sort of an intern on an area of sort of work that you're doing. So say for example, if you're doing sort of public policies in your mm-hmm. area, you go to somewhere like you can also practice that um, profession in a sort of either an organization, a government agency, or uh, a private uh, entity. Uh huh. So for academic, we're just really basically students. Yes, and, we have uh, a lecture, right? Yes, yeah, so lectures and sessions and community mixers, learning. Mixers, community learning. And you get to share the whole experience also with um, other ASEAN um, leaders. Mm-hmm. So I think that's really really exciting. Yeah. So please follow your embassy. A- embassy. There's a link probably that uh, first will be putting here. And yes. The yeah, professional you- fellows is coming this spring. So if you anybody of you from 25 to 35, you can also join that. It's gonna be spring, but I know it's gonna be cold because it's a winter season. So for the in Thailand application already closed. Oh, I'm not sure about Philippines. In Thailand application is closed. I'm not sure with the Philippines. So <laughs> Maybe next time, next fall, right? Every year it's gonna happen, guys. So mm-hmm. please stay tuned. We have two time a year. Yep, two times a year. Two fall times a year. and spring. Fall and spring. Yes, fall and spring. And what you learn from from brow activity? What did What I you learn learned? about? Well, the thing that I really wanted to know here, being here, is that how do you um, implement technological solutions mm-hmm. to technologically challenged communities? So how do you make that more friendly for them? And that is something that <clears throat> I want to know. And since we we've been talking about social innovation, mm-hmm. I think at some point there's sort of like the human interface and human-centered design 
a mindset that you have to think about before you're doing this because you might like you do this so many to and, right? um, this might not be the thing that they need right so you gotta think of that if you're doing social solutions in your areas mm-hmm wow good pie that um we learned a lot from here yes definitely and definitely learned a lot if if you already have your own uh, mistake model mm-hmm. or your own project it can um link a lot link we can talk with the professor from brown yes perfect mm-hmm. so the good thing with brown if you're assigned here you should be assigned here because you can join other classes as well depends yes. on whatever thing whatever class you wanted to go to i was supposed to go to this one class called um prefabrication and architecture uh-huh. obviously i'm into design ah. um, they were talking about vernacular houses in asian and african regions is your focus where well not, not is really your, focus, I, but it's like what i like to do so <laughs> there are certain uh, different classes that you, you guys can join if you're going to be assigned mm. a brown and of course that has to be done on your free time but there's a lot of not a lot but there's there's a couple of free time that you can do that mm-hmm. you just can search um, what cars available in brow yes right it will also be provided the link below because oh, i oh, don't so know what the link is i can't <laughs> remember, memorize that uh-huh. and the famous faculty here i i heard about the sociology right? yes so uh, a lot of sociologies and entrepreneurship courses engineer here. data engineer, science where we yeah. are yep yes about the innovation <laughs> also yes really famous here it is very famous here but if you're also doing design RISD is just next door so there you go okay we'll provide link uh, up your Facebook and they can message to you right? yes Facebook Instagram is all provided down there so anyone um, watch this video don't forget to follow him every channel <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of channel because I'm not really that much active but I'll, I'll, I'll be helpful as much as possible he's the guest advisor of by here the guest advisor I don't know yes. what, what do you mean that you, uh, if the one who come here and lost the way you just call Charles All how right. can we do <laughs> right so in terms of navigation because I'm more of like a backpacker type of traveler so I try to figure out everything first before and then so if some of these guys get lost they just like holler Charles holler hello me. daddy Charles <laughs> you went to Newport last Saturday right? so as I said you have to make sure you make your uh, free time wisely so last Sunday two days ago uh, we went to Newport uh, with the Indonesian and some Malaysian and Vietnamese uh, fellows first didn't come there because he's he's broke <laughs> so uh, we went there it was an enjoyable experience for us we went to the lighthouses uh-huh. we went to the mansions huge huge mansions and um, we've ate um, clam chowder lobster rolls wow lobster lobster burgers shrimps all the seafood that you can think of and uh, with a really um, good amount of price i didn't go and he sent the picture to us oh yeah and then they like so um, sad and like <laughs> and, and we had like free bus rides uh-huh. going there because the Why? bus was late oh. if the bus is late it makes uh, they make it free for you to ride it That's how about the thing. normal price the normal price for bus around uh, if you use the ripta buses fee tips is it's only two dollars mm-hmm. per ride but you can also have the all-day pass which only is about six dollars and you can use the bus for 24 hours uh, at we have we can take the bus from kennedy plaza right? from kennedy plaza and there's specific stops so there's also an app for that I'm not. Can you provide a link also? <laughs> oh, I, so many links. Okay, I will give you to send me link. Yes. Every yes. link that you talk about. Yes, yes. Please, please. Okay, sure. I, I, I will may provide. not forget what I'm saying. Okay. In Providen, the Kennedy Plaza is a center of the transportation. Yep. You want to go? If you want to go Boston, if you want to go the Newport, right? If you want to go Warwick or anywhere else in um, from Providen, you have to go Kennedy Plaza. Yep. Kennedy Plaza downtown. Uh, the train station going to Boston is just near the um, Providence capital, uh-huh. so um, which is just also near Kennedy Plaza where the buses are. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of things you can do. Wow! And 
the last question. Sure. You know about uh, a, a lot about the press here. Uh-huh. Could you please tell us if anyone come here in the Providence, where should they go? Um, you already talked about this. Like, should it be personally, or what is the best one that I should be recommending? Anywhere that you 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 can talk more than one. Um, Tell so, you something like that. So these are my list of good areas that you have. To go okay, in I will listen carefully too. Yes, please. So RISD Museum, that's one of my top uh-huh. uh, areas that I've I've been there three times. Oh. Um, the Fleet Library, that's RISD's library. The Brown Design Workshop. Um, for the library, I heard that we have seven library, right? Yes, we have seven libraries also at Brown, but the RISD one is better. Really? <laughs> and, okay. Um, well, for me as a designer, because there's a lot of design books mm. there. Um, there are good um, beer places. So there's hashtag Whis- Whiskey Wednesday oh. and hashtag Thirsty Thursday. There's a lot of option every Wednesdays and Thursdays if you want to drink anywhere. Uh-huh. Um, there's a lot of good parks. Um, where we are staying is in front of India Point Park, which is a really good view. Just of mm. sunset and sunrise. Mm. Our hotel is at Hilton Garden Inn, right? Yep, we are at Hilton Garden Inn. Yes. This is not sponsored, though. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> and um, there's Prospect Terrace. If you're into like looking at the overview of the whole Providence, mm. it's on the top. Where's that? I never been there. Have oh, you never been there? Yes. We went there with Kevin. Oh. You don't remember. I don't go. I didn't go. We went there with Kevin. Oh yeah. The last yeah, really? ambassador trip. Oh. Before oh, oh I got it. Okay. Okay. See, the best um, picture. He's the older guy here because he doesn't remember things. I already forget. <laughs> so um, yeah, but there's a lot. Um, mm. Good food places. If 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 you're staying at Hilton Garden Hotel mm-hmm. when you're gonna do this. Uh, sponsor again. Not sponsored, but. Their shuttle bus is free to go anywhere, yes. and their drive the driver. Shout out to Dave and um, Jen. Jennifer. They've been really helpful. They can just tell you like where's the good areas for food, for speak easy bars, for beer, for. They're really nice. You know. They're they're very nice. Yes. If you um want to know everything about the Providence, just ask them. Or ask. Us. Us. <laughs> okay. Rinch Us. Below, Charles. <laughs> okay. And the last one about the uh, if any audience want to join the Y C L, how can they prepare themselves? Okay. So one of the one of the key things that you have to have in, in when you want to join here uh-huh. in how I think it is. I'm yes. not sure if this is how they want their uh, pick, how this is how they pick. Is that make sure. You have a lot of volunteer and community um, work experience that you're doing because that's how they really see the threshold of who you are, what you're doing, and what's your re- what how you what you really can do for your country or for where you live. Um, that's I think one point. And if you get to the interview round, make sure you're like the most excited person in the room, and so that they just hopefully you are. So they will just like really feel that you're passionate about it, and you know you're just like really happy mm. on doing this. Be happy in what you do, and I think that's gonna lead you to a more structured position in applying the YCLE program. Just come to join us. Yep. Today we got um, so many youthful and. Hopefully it's useful. <laughs> <laughs> and very good point that uh-huh. they um, every audience can be prepare yourself to visit the United States and also who want to travel here, you can just follow Charles. Yep. Thank so, you very much for today. Thank you very much. First, it's 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 been a been, been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. Could you please say bye bye in Philippine language? Okay. Um, Paalam po sa inyo lahat. Paalam po sa inyo mas. Bye-bye. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, it's fine. <laughs>